Oh. Uh, moving on. Mm -hmm. It's time for this. Backlog. 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 Okay. Uh, you have an article for this. I do. Oh, I, maybe it was a mistake. Oh yeah, that's a mistake on your part. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, what? Uh, how many games we got? Uh, nine hundred. Nine hundred. Okay. 900. Yes. Right. Uh, if you don't know the premise, um, for the past forty years, because we're old, um, we've been every game we've ever bought, we put into an Excel spreadsheet. Um, and today we're going to pick one of those games at random and talk about it, regardless of whether or not we've played it. Uh, two hundred and twenty-one. Two twenty-one. I still haven't added my games to this. I got to do that. Let me make a Ooh. note to myself. The Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt cartridge for the NES. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite game of all time. Yeah. We talked about Super Mario Brothers before on the backlog, but it was the Arcade Archives yes. version of the Versus Arcade Cabinet. Yes. Which was a horrible, horrible port. Correct. And I do like the, the arcade version. But the NES version of the original Super Mario Bros. is my favorite game of all time. Yeah. And we had the combination duck hunt cartridge, yes. which uh, I think is common. This, this might be the first game we've ever owned. Yeah, I was going to say this that is too. The, this is the beginning. It's hard to say because we had that, but we also had a Game Boy. Yes. And I don't know which came... You came first I came me, first, so but you I think it's like I don't remember when we got the NES. I just remember it being there. And I know that Mario Brothers Duck Hunt was bundled with it, but I only know that after the fact. <laughs> so yeah. I'm by default, I am going to declare that Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt is the first game we ever owned. I'm willing to concede that yes. yes uh it is my favorite game of all time because i played it so much mm -hmm. and i always go back to it it's just i mean super mario brothers is just like it's the classic game it is so simple and yet so complex um it's easy but also challenging at the same time it's i mean i guess because we've been playing it for so long it's relaxing to play like the, yeah, it's just very 2D mindless. Mario games in general are just to me relaxing to play. Like I just sit back and just go and experience the, the game. Let the game consume me. It, it it's also a revolution in game design. Oh, absolutely. Back yeah. then, uh, games were not great. No. <laughs> uh, this was this came out in nine nineteen eighty five. Yes. And at the time, there was nothing good. <laughs> no. Uh, this changed the way. Because it was an actual side scroller, yeah. there weren't many games that did that. Um, the game had a character. Mm -hmm. There were video game characters, but nothing on the level of like who Mario was. Yeah. Um, it had a story to it, which was very basic. But the fact that it gave you more context yeah. than stop the alien or stop the animal or do this, you know. Yeah, and just the way it teaches the player how to play the game without shoving it down your throat. I mean, yeah. you only get two buttons because yeah. it's an NES controller, but still, you press the buttons and you quickly learn what each button does. Mm -hmm. uh, you quickly learn what's bad to touch and what's good to touch, yeah. and uh, you just go to the right, and that's the, the, the goal of every level is just go to the right. Yeah. Uh, and you learn that, and each level gives you something wacky and different and 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 new to 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 overcome. Right. Uh, there's this level one dash three, which is the little treetops that you see like the pits in the ground. You go, whoa, this is gonna be really hard yeah. all of a sudden. But then it makes you feel really cool when you finally get past yeah. it. We played this a whole lot growing up, yeah. and then we continued to play it as adults too. There was just so much in this one game to discover in so many different ways yeah. to play it this is also uh one of the most prominent speed running games absolutely and because you can beat it really quick mm -hmm. uh if you are good enough at the game you could easily beat it in under 10 minutes yeah right now the world record is a low four minutes I yeah think. um is it low four it's somewhere in the four minutes yeah yeah uh, but they are still 
always finding new ways to get it faster and faster yeah. and it's incredible to see every time it's the game that just keeps on giving because like you can play you can literally play it forever yeah it never gets old it never gets boring it, it looks dated and it sounds dated but it never feels dated yeah the physics are so good yeah uh the, mario has done a lot it, it's changed a lot over the years and the physics yeah. have changed going from something like mario wonder and then going or or even mario maker because mario maker uses the new super mario brothers physics and yeah if you play mario maker or new super mario brothers or even mario wonder and then you go back to the original nes mario things will feel a little weird he will feel like he's on ice skates a little bit because he slides a yeah. lot uh the jump might feel less responsive if you play it on a crt tv if you play it on an actual nes with a crt tv it mm -hmm. might feel way more responsive just because of how fast uh crts are yeah uh but again this is the second best game on the nintendo switch after i, I mean i'm sorry this is the second best game on the nes after mario 3 right and uh, it is one of the best Mario games and my favorite game of all time. I I would be remiss, however, if we didn't also include the second game in I this I was split. about to say, there's a whole other game in this package. It's Duck Hunt, baby. Duck we Hunt. did play Duck Hunt. Yes. I mean, because when we got tired of Mario, there's a whole other game there. There was Duck so, Hunt. So, so we... Grew up with the NES. Mm -hmm. Then we got a Genesis somewhere along the yeah. way. I don't remember what year or how many years it was, after. It was post Sonic 2. So it was, it was, had, it it was like, like 92 or 93. Really? That that yeah. early? I thought it was way after it came out. But I mean, technically it was. The Genesis came out in 89. Okay. Sonic so, came out in 91. So we got the Genesis and then we, somewhere along the way, we put the NES at our grandmother's house. So we had something yeah. to play when we were at our grandmother's house. And we yeah. left it there. Until, Years. until like you know like 2015 or yeah. something um so i remember our like uncles would play this game yeah because they're like oh it's a gun yeah cool, let me shoot the I screen it's easy to the concept was easier yeah. for them to understand you got a bright orange handgun <laughs> to, to point at the screen and shoot the ducks yeah flying across the screen we would I mean, I would just walk right up against the screen. And yeah, no, the screen. like after a certain point, you learn how to cheat. You just walk right up to it and fire at the screen or shoot a light bulb. That doesn't work. I've tried shooting that. a light bulb. That does not work. That okay. is a myth. So the whole concept behind the game is uh, the light. The, the so so this came in a package with the NES that had a light gun with it. Yeah, the, the NES Zapper. The NES Zapper, the yeah. big light gun, and it had two controllers, right? Mm -hmm. And it came yeah, with yeah. this game. Uh. The light gun worked where it took a basically a picture of the screen or it, it had a little sensor in it and it basically took a picture uh, and the whole screen turned black and white. Yeah. Uh, and a big white block appeared where the duck was. Yeah. So if you were aiming correctly, the zapper would take a picture of the white block and not yeah. the black screen. It would sense the light, hence the term light gun. Yeah, it would yeah. sense the, the big white block. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you hit the big white block, you hit the duck and it would yeah. play a little animation. If you missed, it would play a little animation of you missing and the, and the little uh, dog would laugh at you. Yeah. And it's, what's amazing to me is the fact that this is a much simpler game than Super Mario Brothers on every level. You know, you can only do three things in this game. You can shoot a duck, you can shoot two ducks or you can do skeet shooting. But yeah. when you do the duck modes, the fact that they have like that little dog with so much character and personality, even though he's one of three pictures, it, it's, it, it was incredible. And it still well, to this day like fascinates me. When he laughed at you, you know, even our game. even our uncles, they were yeah. like, this fucking little dog, yeah. this piece of shit guy. And you wanted to do better at the game. Yeah. Now, I play this game called guess the game guess the dot game yeah. every night mm -hmm. it gives you a picture of a game and it makes you guess what the game is yeah uh, and you get like six tries and it it basically makes it a more obvious picture the more guesses you do i'm infuriated by it because the first picture was so obviously the clay shooting mm -hmm. so i was like duck hunt and it's like wrong and then all the other pictures were like weird 
It turned out it was fucking WarioWare. <laughs> uh, I was like, no one's going to know what clay shooting yeah. is. But I do, yeah. god damn it. Anyway. Um, yeah. The light gun, we explained how it works. Yeah. Uh, it only works like that on CRT TVs. Right. Now... Light guns aren't the same as they, they yeah, used to Yeah, like, people have tried to make light guns work on modern televisions, and, like, you know, they only work for one game, or it's glitchy for other games and stuff. Hyperkin and, was making a zapper yeah. specifically for uh, LCD TVs. Yeah. And I don't, did they ever come out with it? I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, it's... I remember when the Wii came out, and they were showing the, off the pointer as, like, a gun peripheral... Um, people thought this could be the return of Duck Hunt because this is the only game. This is Duck Hunt on NES is the only game in the series. The they, most we got was We Play, which had like a little Duck Hunt ish mini game, but it wasn't the same. Um, and you know, Duck Hunt Dog appearing in Smash Brothers years later. I appreciate that Duck Hunt Dog had oh, in yeah. Smash Brothers. Uh, he's he's got a lot of character in that mm -hmm. game. Uh, Hyperkin did make the Hyper Blaster HD for Duck Hunt compatible with NES. And I think what you do is you plug the cartridge in. Yes. It like it like takes over where the cartridge Yeah. You plug the game into this cartridge adapter and then that into the NES mm -hmm. and then it like somehow loops through and takes but the data. But it only works for it. Duck Hunt. Right. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work with the plethora of other light gun games that nobody's playing. Duck Hunt is the one that I mean there's <sighs> What are the ones? Hogan's Alley is the other one. Wild Gun Hogan's Alley and Wild Gunman are the two Nintendo made ones. I know there was like Operation Wolf and like a couple of other light gun games for the NES, but mm -hmm. yeah, you're right. Duck Hunt's the only one that matters. Yeah, Duck Hunt's the only good one. So anyway, this is uh maybe our most beloved game that we have. Uh this is uh this this one means the most to us here at the backlog and then and with that we are never doing the backlog again. Yeah, that's it. Season <laughs> finale. That's it. Hope you like. I like this game so much. I've tried to purchase all of the different versions of Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. Uh I got a couple of the uh just Super Mario Brothers ones. Yeah. Um uh recently Super Mario Brothers sold for a fuck ton of money for yeah. some reason. Uh, I just saw Pat the NES Punk did a podcast about the uh, deposition because yes. they're being sued for price fixing the Super Mario yeah. Brothers that sold for hundred. I think a while ago that like was pretty much confirmed to be a scam, and you know it, they went quiet about it. Now there's a lawsuit like brought about it because people are mad that and they scam pretty much admitted to yeah to. Price gouging, mm -hmm. which is insane. Uh, so it never made any sense to sell a game that is this popular. It's, the original Super Mario Brothers had, has a lot of copies yeah. floating around out there. Uh, so having that be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars just doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, uh, I'm glad this game exists. It's what it, we, I, we probably wouldn't be here today if no. we didn't have this yeah. NES with this. Uh, uh, Mario game on it. I mean, if you think about it, a lot of people wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be sitting in these chairs right now. Like you guys at home wouldn't be watching us. Um, other YouTubers and Twitch yeah. streamers would not be doing what they would be doing if it wasn't for this game, whether or not they played it. This game did a lot for Nintendo, also. <laughs> yeah, this is. I mean, this is this is def this is hands down the most important game of the 1980s. Yeah, I would argue is the most important game of the 20th century. I still need to. Uh, I was trying to learn how to speed run it, and uh, you'd be surprised to know it's very difficult. Oh yeah. Uh, but I want to get back into it. It just, you know, it takes a lot of time mm -hmm. to to chip away at it. But uh, I gotta get my time down. I think my quickest is like eight minutes, which yeah. is not quick at all. Or six. I think I did. I did six. But that's. I mean, the world record's four yeah. something. So nowhere close to that. Anyway, thanks for watching the backlog, guys. Uh. Go to the playlist, watch some more. Or yeah. go to a, come to a podcast live like these guys. Yeah. Sometimes. Cool you kids. Can watch it live. Uh, goodbye. Bye.